evening to one and all. This evening, I'm here along Ashford again at Ashford St. Thomas, just outside of the Holy Innocent Church and School. So this is Ashford Long Road and again I'm doing a video of Holy Innocent Church and School. This is Holy Innocent Primary School where most of my family received their primary education. This is where my aunts, my first two aunts, my great aunt, my great and my grandmother and other great aunts and uncles would have, been, would have received their primary education and this is the school building with the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss June Connell in 2005 depicting things in St. Thomas you have the windmill here at Morgan Lewis Windmill, St. Andrew. You can see Mr. Lester Vaughan below here, the guy who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados. He's reading the book to the school children down below from Holy Innocent School. You can see the monkey at Rachel Hall. I believe this is also in St. Thomas. So, Morgan Lewis Windmill is the only working windmill in Barbados. So this school building was built here as a result of the tropical the hurricane Janet. This school building was built here as a result of Hurricane Janet that struck Barbados in September 1955. Years ago, this used to be a wooden school. A wooden school building. But when Janet passed, it damaged the old school building and they had to rebuild it with a, a, um, a, a wall structure. So, Hurricane Janet was a terrible hurricane. That struck Barbados in September 1955. Anybody that knows about Janet would have to be a senior person in the 70s, 80s, so 70 and onward would know about Hurricane Janet. Not even 70, 70 plus. In the 70s, 70 enough going down, we'll know about that. And this is all the innocent Anglican Church here. This dates back to 1838. I also have lots of family that are laid to rest here. So this is known as Ashford Long Road. And this is the road to Harrison's Cave. And Wetsville Hall, I believe. And again, Harrison Cave runs all under here. That is why they said that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. And this is the church cemetery here where they bury the people now. Yeah, yeah. Since the cemetery in the church, that is still they bury the people over here now. I would take a walk in the churchyard. So they don't really bury people in here anymore unless it is a by grave. This is the Gooding tomb, the grave of George W.T. George Gooding and Milda Gooding and their children Jeffrey and Sheila. Holy Innocent Churchyard. So this is Holy Innocent Anglican Episcopal Church. 
also the affectionate memory of John W. Carrington, who died the 22nd of June, 22nd of January, 1889, at age 53 years. In memory of Margaret Williams, wife of J John W. Carrington, of Rashmo Hall, St. Thomas, who died the 3rd, the 3rd of November, 1881, at the age of 67. Loving in memory of Walter Philip Smith, who died the 16th of June 1980 at the age of 82, and his wife Elizabeth Sainz Scotman, who died the 24th of October 1914 at the age of 76. So these are all people who were interred in this church cemetery. In this church wall, there are also the graves in the church wall. So I have lots of family that attend church here, and a lot of them are buried here, that are laid to rest here. I even have a great aunt who sings in the choir. Back in the day, this, this bell used to be rung by the sexton, Collis, or Donald Daniel. This church is filled with the Daniel family, Daniel, Levine. This is my family, the Levine, the Daniel, and the Drake. Church here. This is the primary school here again for the winter. The bell, this is the bell tower here. The bell used to be up in here first, years ago, until in the early 90s when they were building this front porch, they shut it down and placed it in here. memory of the following families, William Green, John and Elizabeth Sweet, William and Walter Daniel, Lenora and Aaron Daniel, the Glasgow family, near the rest. This is the great of this, this is the grave of the former organist of this church, Hudson the Costa Drake, who was a relative of mine. He and his wife are left to rest. That's where the headstone was moved. Hudson this is also a principal of Hillaby Turner Cross on the school which happens to be in this same parish. The Holy Church are here, Holy Innocent. Anglican Episcopal Church. Some countries refer to the Anglican Church as Episcopal and some refer to it as Anglican. The grave of Leicester St. Clair Vaughan who was the principal of this school, born 1910 and died in 2003. So this road here will lead you back to Bryan Avenue in Rachmo Hall, which is known to many residents as the line. This will lead you back to Bryan's Road in Rachmo Hall, St. Thomas. Referred by many residents as the line. This is where the boys' school was. For the instance, boys' school. And they later became the Vickers Club. The Vickers Club was the event for the church and other social activity. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening. Many people in St. Thomas refer to this church as the Cathedral of the East, and it is well taken care of the residents 
and the members take care of this church. The members of Holy Innocence take care of this church and make sure it is well kept. Thanks for watching now.